question asks to construct appropriate graph or charts to compare the relative frequency and cumulative relative frequency in each data set. Since the question does not provide the number of classes, we will use Sturge's rule to find the number of classes. To find the width of each class afterwards, we need to take the maximum value minus the minimum value and divide by the number of classes. Compare the domestic and international class widths, so we will use the largest number to make assumption about the weight classes, which is 781000 for both domestic and international. Here is the chart that constructed. To find the relative frequencies, divide each frequency by the total number of passengers in the sample. Relative frequency can be written as fraction, percent or decimals. Here is the calculation. Continue calculate the relative frequency in each row to get the rest of the column using the same formula. Same goes to the international relative frequency. At the same time to calculate the cumulative relative frequencies, add all the previous relative frequencies to the relative frequency for the current row. Continue adding the relative frequencies in each row to get the rest of the column. Same goes to the international cumulative relative frequency. As shows in the figure here, we can clearly see the comparison of relative frequency and cumulative relative frequency of domestic and international. Part 2. Calculate and compare measures of central location in each dataset. The arithmetic mean is a primary measure of central location. It is often referred to as the mean or the average. The formula of mean is the sum of the terms divided by the number of the terms. For domestic, the total sum of the terms is 26,731,895 divided by the total number of the terms, which is 24. So, the mean is 1,113,828.95. For international, the total sum of the terms is 10,945,618 divided by the total number of the terms, which is 24. So, the mean is 456,067.4167. The median is another measure of central location that is not affected by outliers. The data are arranged in ascending order. The median is the middle value if the number of observations is odd, or the average of the two middle values if the number of observations is even. For domestic, the middle value is 530,698 and 610,901, then divided by 2. So, the median is 570,799.5. For international, the middle value is 88,100 and 89,232, then divided by 2. So, the median is 88,666. The mode is another measure of central location, the most frequently occurring value on the list. For domestic and international, there is no mode because there is no repeating data in the table. Part 3. Calculate the percentiles and construct work plot in each dataset. First, this slide shows the domestic and international dataset in ascending order. Next, calculate the percentiles in each dataset. The formula to calculate percentiles is locate the position LP equals to bracket n plus 1 times P over 100. By using this formula, we can calculate 25th, 50th, and 75th percentiles for domestic. After calculation, 25th percentiles are 240,935.75. 50th percentiles are 570,699.5. Lastly, 75th percentiles are 1,628,064.5. For international percentiles, after calculation, 25th percentiles are 73,461.75. 50 percentiles are 88,666. Lastly, 75 percentiles are 116,733.75. Next, construct box plot for domestic dataset. First, we need to calculate in the quarter range, which is IQR. The formula for IQR is the quarter minus first quarter. After calculation, IQR for domestic is 1,387,087.75. The formula to find the outliers is first quarter minus minimum value and maximum value plus third quarter. After that, we need to find out the range of box plot, which formula are first quarter minus IQR times 1.5 and IQR times 1.5 plus third quarter. This calculation is to determine there is an outlier or not. For domestic dataset, there is an outlier at maximum point. Last but not least, this is the slide to construct box plot for 
international data set. As I mentioned before, first, we need to calculate interpreter range, which is IQR. After calculation, IQR for international is 43,272. After done, IQR of calculation. The range of box what and calculation is shown in the slide. For international data set, there is an outliers at maximum point seven as domestic box box. Part 4. Calculate and compare measure of depression in each data set. Measure of depression include length, mean absolute division, variance and standard division, and coefficient of variation. So for the first part, range. Range equal maximum value minus minimum value. For the domestic part, the range of domestic equal 4,481,969. So for the range of international, is represent 4,680,974. For the mean absolute division, MAD, for the domestic part, is equal 909,795.36. So for the MAD of international part, is equal 632,818.2304. The next is variance and standard division. Variance of domestic is 14147479996246 and 47. And the standard division is 11894311.15x7. So for the part of international, the variance equal 12152499710005. And the standard division is 11023.8376. For the CV, which is coefficient of variation, is the last part of measure of dispersion. So CV equal standard division divide mean. For the domestic part is 1.0679. For the international part is 2.4172. Part 5, which is calculate and compare measure associations in each data set. First is to get the data, we need to use the sample covariance formula. First, find the amount based on the table that I show. After getting all the amount, we should add all the number for all 24 airlines. After that, we put in the formula, which is 25162041915176.60 divided by N minus 1 or 24 minus 1. So, the answer is 10940018223298.98. Next, it's correlations. So, the formula is SXY divided SX. S, Y. Enter the covariance number and divide it by the all standard division for the domestic and international. Therefore, the answer will be 8.34342523.